Hello, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to talk about creating map simulation, vehicular simulation in Sumo. This is, I'm not going to talk about the networking yet. I'm just going to talk about Sumo. So Sumo is a simulation of urban mobility and it's a traffic simulator, a vehicular traffic simulator. Uh, the way you download it, you can download it with sudo apt-get install Sumo. I was having trouble with it, so I installed it from sources. So I have mine under this directory. And if I echo path, I add it to my path, sumo slash bin and sumo slash uh, tools. Because under bin, I have the sumo text, you know, based simulation, console, like console based, and the sumo GUI, which is graphic user interface. Net edit the net editor and the net converter, which converts it from one uh, format to another. I also have the tools, which are Python executables uh, or, or actually scripts. You can actually go and read the uh, Python. I use Trace Exporter, which converts the traces from one format to another, the simulation trace. I also use random trips. Where are your random trips? random trips, which generate random trips uh, between two points on the map. So how do we start, get started with Sumo? Well, the easiest thing to do is to go to OpenStreetMap and export right here, a map. Notice it can go anywhere in the world, but if you try to export a big map, it'll probably say it's too big. The area is too large, export it as OpenStreetMap. And so you can zoom into any area you want. Let's say Tacoa, Georgia, this town, All right? Would this be enough? I wonder. And um, let me just get it like this and export. Yeah, so that may, may work. If I export it, it should be saved as map.osm, as a map. Uh, I have one saved right here. Uh, download it, so it is sim. Sumo, uh, sorry, uh, oh, uh, map.osm. And uh, I have here a symbol, uh, cat symbol. Yeah. So let me, uh, yeah. Okay. Code symbol. Yeah. Now that I have the map.osm, I have to do, uh, convert it to a, a uh, sumo map. And how do we do that? So we will run the command net convert osm files map.osm dash o for output map.net.xml. I like to name my output file map.net, the, the, the map file like that to tell you maybe there are some warnings and then it will basically uh, be done and it generated a map.net.xml that's in sumo friendly format. It's 30 megabytes, so it takes time. Uh, I mean, it's a big file, um, it's a text-based file. Now, uh, I can also do something else to make the map pretty, but let me, to illustrate this, let me first go here and make this into a comment, I think. Okay. So this line doesn't exist. Okay. So if I go, uh, I'll run it in a minute. But before we do that, we need something to run a simulation. I can do net edit map.net.xml. And you can see this is the map that was generated from the Sumo trace. You can see there are all kind of points. It actually maps some of the traffic lights. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to uh, run this, but before I do that, before I run a simulation, I need some vehicle traffic. So the way to do that is to use the random trips tool. So I'm gonna just run this like that. I'm just gonna copy it from another place. So random trips using the map or the network and then generate a route file, uh, this route file. So this is vehicle routes and then generate a trip file. I don't usually use this file, but anyway, 
E is the end, so it ends after 600 seconds, and the period is 0.5. So every 0.5 second generate a vehicle. And then we run this, and we should get a, an output file routes.raw.xml. See? Routes.raw.xml. Now we can run my simulation, which is the simple uh, sumo config, which uses map.net.xml as a map and uses the route file. And to do that, I'm just going to run it with sumo GUI. It will load. It's a good idea to do real world because it shows you know nicely. Let me just focus on one intersection and let me change the delay to 100 milliseconds so that it doesn't go too far, too fast. As you can see, we have files uh, or cars driving by. Okay, it stopped for the traffic light. And then keep going. All right, I can generate a, a lot of cars. So, I mean, there's not a lot of cars here. You may wanna, this is a, a highway. So th this is like a, this is like a bridge over here. So that's why they intersect without slowing down. But um, we can parameterize this if you want more vehicles. So these are basically random trips, right? And that's basically how you create a simple sumo simulation. Once you're done, if you're happy with it, you can uh, use trace exp uh, you can uh, generate a uh, textual uh, sumo trace XML. So you can run the simulation on this map, let me say simple, this simulation, and then generate this sumo trace that XML, which is a floating car data, I think that's what it means, FCD. And maybe it'll give you some uh, warnings, but then it generated a sumo trace that XML. This is basically a trace of vehicles on the traffic. It's 78 megabytes. So yeah, with big maps, you have, you're going to have a big um, files to deal with. You can then convert that to an NS2 simulation file, which would basically, which can be used in NS3. So let me run this and the same thing will happen. Uh, similar things will happen, maybe some warnings. It's a big file, so it will take some time. And when you're done, you can use that file in your NS, uh, sorry, NS3 simulation. And this is the well, one of the easiest ways to uh, uh, basically do uh, sumo, uh, the map. I have a make file here, which is very convenient. So what I do here, is actually I use random trips multiple times, creating multiple routes for buses, trucks, delivery routes with different information. So I'm passing different parameters here. Uh, and what happened is it every, every time we run random trips, it creates a file with vehicle ID 0, 1, 2, 3. And then here it creates vehicle uh, with IDs 1, 2, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So when I want to run it in, uh, in Sumo, it will say, oh no, there are vehicles with the same ID. So I run SID to change the ID of the vehicle by adding a, pre a, pre a prefix uh, string. So basically this is a simplification. So I'm going to run make trips. And what happened? Uh, unknown URL type. Do I have the map? Oh, I don't have the map. I removed the map, so I think I have it here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I have build map, which creates the map, but also does the poly convert, which does um, basically add the polygon information, building information. You'll notice that the map looks slightly different. It just makes it pretty. I'm not sure if it contributes anything to the simulation. So let me do build map that runs net convert followed by poly convert to convert the map, sorry, to basically create the map polygon data. And then I think I have make sim. Oh no, I don't have make sim. Uh, what was it called? Uh, I don't have make sim. So I'm gonna do sumo gui sim dot, yeah. So I'm gonna show how the map looks like now. Uh, need to first generate the routes. So let me generate the routes. So I'm calling 
generating multiple files. Passenger, passenger underscore route, trailer underscore route, and so on. Generated a lot of files. Let me look at sumo. Uh, as you can see here, let me make it colorful. So that it's very easy to follow. Come on, drag with me. All right, let's make this XML. As you can see here, I have route files and uh, truck routes, the row, comma, passenger route, all these routes. And um, my make file, I actually specify certain colors of passenger vehicles. I want them to be white. Uh, this uh, truck, I think it's a light blue, and then the semi truck is, uh, I think uh, trailer truck is uh, red and so on. Let me close this. And now let's run sumo GUI, graphic user interface. So it loads. You can see there is like the greens and I think the water body, if there is water, yeah. Anyway, let me focus on the same intersection. And let me change this to real world. Let me make this 50 and we'll see vehicles coming in. As you can see, I have a bus, I have a truck, like a delivery truck and all, all kinds of different vehicles. It looks very cool. All right, once I'm done, I'm, since I'm happy, maybe you may need to change the frequencies of how you generate the vehicles because you want more vehicles or less vehicles because if you look around here you may notice that there are not a lot of cars going around or maybe too many cars going around and so on let me change this to 50 to run a simulation faster is there like a backed up traffic you know so we could you could see that so that is how you do uh, you know run the simulation um, i also can utilize this make file let me look at that make file and I have a, I pass it something called trace, which will do the same thing I did, uh, create a, a sumo trace and then convert that to NS to uh, trace. Another way to create maps is to use the net edit tool. So let net edit. And uh, let me just say new network. And uh, just very quickly, I'm going to do let me make it two way. I'm just gonna click, click, and then click, click. I can make an intersection if I want to click, click, and then click, click, zoom onto the intersection. I don't want this. And I'm gonna use the selection tool. Let me make this a traffic signal. just to have fun. And uh, if I save it, let me save it to this directory. Uh, it changed the thing to a traffic signal. Uh, I can also edit the number of lanes. So I can say here, three lanes, three lanes. Let me say two lanes here, and then two lanes here two lanes here, and then let me just make this one lane. Okay, so that it's weird. And I want here to be three, three, or maybe two, two, just, just for fun. Okay, let me save. So I save this and I'll close it. Let me go to that directory. Um, this is the map, I just saved it. Look at the timestamp, just save it. I'm gonna do make trips. And I think I have make sim, which runs the simulation. So cars will start and come here, real world. Let me say 50. Let me wait for traffic to come. All right. As you can see, we have traffic going on and there, are, there is a traffic signal, return. 
I don't think I have the, yeah, I do have trucks and other cars. So yeah, I just have different probability of passenger car and trucks and other cars. You can also define other things. I have one here that I created, but I don't think you should go into it yourself, but also create pedestrian if you want to create pedestrian. So uh, um, what was it called? Sim? No, no, wait. Make trips first and then make sim. I think I have make sim. So this one here have pedestrian crosswalk, which isn't perfect. I mean, you probably don't want to do pedestrians, but pedestrians will be small and in blue walking around. You can see them waiting because it's red light, right? Let me stop this a little bit. You can see pedestrian here waiting to cross this way. So it's green for the pedestrian. And so, I mean, this is uh, created using the crossing function, but I don't think you need to get into that. I'm already at 15 minutes. So uh, let me go back to the example here. Uh, and then once I'm done, I can say make trace. So let me just say, yeah, make trace. And it will create an NS2 mobility trace that I can use in my uh, NS3 simulation. So it runs the uh, NS, uh, sorry, the Sumo simulation to generate the file. And it'll give you warning and then generate that file. It could take some time. I don't know how big is the, the map. Yeah. The last w uh, way, I mean, we can create a, uh, uh, there's another way to create nodes, uh, sorry, maps, which is creating a node file and then edge file. Let's look at the node file right here in Vim. So you can see I have four nodes, west node at 0, 25, east node at 1,025, and then the middle point is 525. And then I have a north point, which is 500 minus, two five, uh, uh, minus 525, and then south, which is 500 and 525, okay? And then the midpoint is defined as a traffic light. You could create it another way if you want. You could make it something else, like always stop, for example. Um, and then the edges, basically there is an edge from west to mid, from mid to east, and that's the west to east. And the similar thing from east to west, going through mid in the, in the middle. And I could set the number of lanes. As you can see here, I do not have a map. There's no map file. So if I look at the make file, I actually have a rule right here, build map, which does not convert using the node file and the edge file to create an output map. So make, build map, and we have the map. It's ready. I could do net edit and see it. looks like this with a traffic signal in the middle. I don't think that's a traffic signal. Yeah, it says traffic light, so okay. Uh, if I click control save, it will just show it properly. And then I have make trips, you know, just to automate my work and then make sim just to run the simulation. And I'm gonna change this to real world and uh, Let's make this 50, run it. Come on vehicles, I can see vehicles coming along, bus and all that. Okay, so that's how you create a Sumo simulation. And there's some automation that I'm doing here, which can make life a lot easier. So, uh, you know, I'll share the make files. If you, if you have, uh, you know, Sumo installed, just make sure that you have, uh, Sumo Home, right? This is Sumo Home. And then uh, if I go to my that bash RC, you can see that I have defined that properly. So I have Sumo Home is this directory, and then the path is added here. If you installed it with apt-get, uh, the Sumo Home will be in user share Sumo, right? And then you will have here tools, I, yeah, so if you have it that way, so then that's how you do it. 
Okay, I am at 20 minutes and this is it for creating Sumo Maps. Please like the video, share it with people who want to know how to create maps in Sumo. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the feedback I get from everyone. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.